Daniel steps up, floats one deep for IU. Right there, touchdown ASU. 40 yards with feathery touch. Ayuk's going. Foot race. Speed. IU wins. Touchdown, Arizona State. Ayuk to the bottom. That's where Daniels is going. That's where Steps up, Daniels runs, Daniels, five, leaping, touchdown, Arizona State. Some pretty good offensive put out from that combination. Jaden Daniels and Brandon Ayuk, who, by the way, was your offensive player of the week, and your freshman of the week is Jaden Daniels. All right, man, I, I, I got to know, because I, I saw the post-game interview with you uh, and Coach Edwards. I, I keep hearing about what these conversations are like in these critical moments, game-winning drives on the sideline before you march out there. And Herb keeps just saying, you say to him, I got it. Can you really just give me the full picture of what those conversations are like? Uh, I mean, really just going back to it, uh, going back to Michigan State, I was like, uh, Coach, he's like, we got to go score now. It's like, Coach, I got you. And I mean, that's just been the thing throughout the, all the other type of drives that we had. Uh, the one against Cal, uh, the one against Washington State, is just, Coach, I got you. So don't worry about anything. That is, that is awesome, Coach, I got you. That, that's what I tell Mike before our show. I was like, I got you, whatever question you want to ask me. Uh, but we had a chance to talk to Brandon Ayuk earlier today, just preparing to call your game this weekend on the Pac-12 Networks. And I asked him about the final drive. And I was like, did you think you were going to get the ball on the final drive on the post drive? I'm curious if you could take us through your thought process on that final play of that drive that you eventually ran in for a touchdown. Uh, uh, so going back to it, um it was it was literally like a check between me and uh, Brandon, so uh, I could either just have him stay on the corner or check him to the post. And just looking at the defense, I like the post route a lot for him. So I mean, just really just stepping up in the pocket, uh, I got flush, and I just seen a whole bunch of open grass, and I just went to go make a play. So you audibled on that play? Yeah, I did. How confident must you be in that critical of a moment to make a change at the line of scrimmage? Uh, really just uh, the coaches have to trust in me to uh, see what I see, uh, the feel for the game. Uh, really just going back to it, the coaches say that I'm the offensive coordinator on the field. They're not on there. They're looking from the box, uh, looking from the sky. So really uh, just the continuity and the chemistry that me and Brandon have, I felt like if I put them on a post and then the defense didn't lift back, the linebacker didn't lift back, then uh, I was able to hit it and we would have had a touchdown there. Jaden, but take me back to the start of the drive here, because if I'm not mistaken, it's four consecutive passes to Eno Benjamin. The clock is still right. ticking there. He's in the middle of the football field. What do you lean on in those moments, knowing that there's only a finite amount of time left in this ball game? That clock is still going to tick, and yet you're still confident. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of panic there and worry that you're, that you're not going to have enough time to, to win a football game. All right. I mean, uh, just looking at the clock, we had like 2.30 on the clock. Um, really just taking what the defense gave me, uh, just going back to it, watching the stay around like a, a lot of uh, cover two, Tampa two. So really uh, stepping up in the pocket and, and not forcing anything, not trying to get in uh, second and long, third and long situations. So really just doubling down to uh, Eno. Uh, he's a special player, just let him do what he has to do. I know that Mike and the fellows here in the studio love the Manny Wilkins tweets oh, yeah. after the game. <laughs> do you hear from other former Sun Devils about your performance? And if so, what'd they say to you? Uh, I heard from Rudy Carpenter, uh, Jake Plummer. May, the main message that really told me was just to keep leading the team and always just stay humble and hungry. Well, you're doing just that, and at this point, we get an opportunity to see you guys in action again, Pac-12 Network, on the road in Salt Lake City. Defensively, Utah has been a juggernaut so far this season. Make the same case for their offense. They're one of the more complete teams in the nation right now. You guys have already won big road games already this season against top 25 opponents. Take me through kind of the, the mental mindset and the makeup of your football team ahead of the matchup that we're going to see this weekend. Uh, we know that Utah is going to play us tough. They're a very tough team, very disciplined team. Uh, like you guys said, one of the best teams, one of the best complete teams in the country. So we know that we got to go in there. We got to be in our uh, best game, our A game. Um, it's been going in a hostile environment. Uh, Utah Stadium uh, is pretty loud. Uh, the fans are crazy out there. So really just going back um, and just playing our game and just sticking to the game plan that the coaches gave us. Yeah, I mean, you know Utah as well as anybody. I mean, reportedly, <laughs> right, it's Utah, Arizona State. How hard was that for you to make the decision, if it was at all? 
Uh, it was very hard. I mean, the uh, coaching staff out there, Utah showed me a lot of love. Uh, the coaching staff is a great coaching staff. Uh, it was a very tough decision, um, just going down to it, just a, a relationship and connection that you build over that time. You know, I think on paper, you look at this game and you look at Utah, defense, the atmosphere that you just referenced, Bradley and I in company, you see a left tackle as a true freshman, another freshman O-lineman, you, and on paper it says, hey, SU, they have no chance in this environment. I'm curious, what's it like in your locker room, in your meeting rooms right now, heading into this top 20 matchup? Yeah, um, really just what we say, in, uh, we state ourselves. So, uh, like the main message, if people don't believe in us, we believe in ourselves. So that's the main message that we just go around the locker room that uh, never count ASU out. Um, even if we're underdogs, win or lose, we're always going to have each other's back. Well, not many people should be counting your team out based off of the success so far <laughs> this season. Your teammate Darby had said it, you are no longer a freshman. Might seem that way in terms of what the roster says right now, but you've been poised all season long. It's been a thrill watching you. Cannot wait to see you this weekend. Pac-12 Network on the road in Salt Lake City against Utah. Best of luck to you, Jaden, and stay healthy the rest of the year. Thank you.